This book is called Mary Had a Little Lamb. The author is Sarah Josepha Hale, and the illustrations are done by Tommy DePaula. Mary Had a Little Lamb was a poem written quite a long time ago by Sarah Josepha Hale. We'll learn more about that later. But this edition was laid out and designed and all the drawings done by Tommy DePaula. When Tommy DePaula would appear at libraries or teacher conferences to talk to either teachers or, or children, he would love to explain how to draw a lamb. It was one of his favorite things to do. Here's how he would do it. He would take the curly marks that form the outside of a lamb's body, more or less a rectangle shape. He would add a little tail. And then he would do the legs like this. And these legs would always just be straight line rectangles. He would do the face like this, put an eye on, and he would do the little ear on the one side. And that would be his, his lamb. You can try that on your own. It's not too hard. If you already know how to play music at the piano, or you have a big sister or brother who can do that for you, or a grandma, or an uncle, or a mom or dad who can do that, there, right in front of you, is the music for this poem. It was written as a poem first, and people wrote the music later. But you know the music. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Fleece is a fancy word for the, the fur or the coat that a lamb has. So all the lines for the poem are here, and the music just repeats. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six verses. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. The lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day. <laughs> that was against the rule. That was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school, to see a lamb at school. And so the teacher turned him out, but still he lingered near and waited patiently about till Mary did appear. And then he ran to her and laid his head upon her arm, as if he said, I'm not afraid, you'll keep me from all harm. What makes the lamb love Mary so? The eager children cry. Oh, Mary loves the lamb, you know, the teacher did reply. And you, each gentle animal in confidence, may bind and make them follow at your call if you are always kind. The End these pages you can have a grown-up or a big sister or brother read to you again later, but there are some amazing facts here. The author, Sarah Josepha Hale, was also the person who begged President Millard Fillmore, President Pierce, President Buchanan, and then finally Abraham Lincoln, and convinced Abraham Lincoln to declare Thanksgiving a national holiday. In 1830, she published a book of poems called Poems for Our Children, and Mary's Lamb was one of them. In 1837, that poem was included in a reader called McGuffey's Eclectic Reader, and it was used in schools all across America and became quite famous. In 1878, over on the other page, Tommy DePaula has extra information for us, Mary's Lamb was involved in a little bit of controversy. A woman uh, also named Mary, Mary Sawyer Tyler, um, was told by a man that he wrote this poem for her, and she believed that all her life. 
Well, most of the people who investigated that say there's no evidence that the man actually wrote the poem and that um, all the evidence points to Sarah Josepha Hale being the correct author. An American classic poem for children laid out and designed as a book. This has been Mary Had a Little Lamb. The author is Sarah Josepha Hale and the illustrations many years later were done by Tommy DePaula.